Hello, and very happy to see you on our channel. Today we give you a piece of breaking news from British news magazines. Documents in Meghan's lawsuit revealed it's quickly falling apart for Meghan. Meghan Markle believed that Associated Newspapers lawyers were fools. It would be easy for her to sue them. After all, she was now royalty. They were just commoners, and none of them are world famous like her. It would be like taking candy from a baby. She sued the Mail on Sunday for publishing a private and confidential letter she had written to her father. She said the paper had infringed her copyright. Now the newspapers were, have revealed that Meghan lied. They've informed the court that the private and confidential letter was not written solely by Meghan, but by palace officials. Kensington Palace officials have confirmed this. The High Court has now learned that Jason Knopf, who was the communication secretary to both the Cambridges and the Sussexes, contributed to the writing of the letter. Yesterday, the paper's lawyers told the judge that Meghan's letter was not her own intellectual creation. It also emerged yesterday that Meghan Markle amended her original court claim to reword a sentence, which she said wrote a private and confidential letter to her father. Megan has changed this to read she, quote, created it using her own intellectual creativity. The next stage in this dramatic case comes later this week, when a deadline expires for her to give her reply to lawyers' claims that she cooperated with the authors of Finding Freedom. Meghan Markle argued that Finding Freedom should not have been brought into her privacy trial, but two senior judges have ruled against her. But it gets worse for the actress. On October 21st, she missed the deadline to file her reply to the claims about colluding with its author. Mr. Justice Warby gave her more time until last Friday. Once more, Meghan ignored the deadline. Mr. Justice Warby extended the deadline once again until tomorrow afternoon. It must appear to his fellow judges that Meghan is testing Justice Warby's patience. Meghan's 76-year-old father has said that he wants his day in court to give evidence against her. The Mail on Sunday will be covering all his costs, flights, hotel accommodations, and expenses. Meanwhile, as we watch with glee as this circus unfolds, the Queen will be covering her eyes. Why does the judge continue to extend deadlines? Doesn't this just feed her thinking she's above the law? Either there's a deadline or there isn't. Why can it keep getting extended for her? Do other litigants get to keep thumbing their noses at courts and then get coddled and accommodated like she is? I don't get it, except for, as in the U.S., money and position, often trump justice and the law. In June 2014, he became a judge of a high court of justice, Queen's Bench Division. Following his appointment to the high court, he was awarded a customary knighthood. Maybe it is difficult to make a decision when a member of the royal family misses several deadlines. There could be reasons given that we know nothing about and the judge is being nicey-nice, but that will be surely have to end sooner rather than later. It will be difficult to uphold the appearance of impartiality if he allows them to get away with missing deadlines too often. The only reason I can see for deadline extensions is the COVID situation. Megan's lawyer have said that their ability to interview witnesses, etc., are impeded by the lockdowns. The judge will bend over backwards to make sure everyone is treated fairly. I doubt her money and privilege figure into this or the newspaper's lawyers would scream bloody murder. Did Megan actually think the palace would protect her secret about who wrote the letter? She's an absolute fool to believe the truth would not prevail. Meghan has blatantly disrespected monarchy with the claims of toxicity, racism, and collaboration on frosty freedom, while the palace has remained silent. Harry and Meghan had no qualms with accepting financial support from the royal family either. They've used their titles for financial gain and self-promotion, which is frowned upon not to mention not remaining apolitical. Oh, Meghan, use the word puppeteering and rabbit hole in your letter, as it sounds better. Like, no wonder she couldn't make a good decision when you have Harry Markles marry a woman whose father he's never met and all his employees help her draft a ladder to sack him. This is a litany of sad, malignant errors made by all involved. Thomas must have done some stupid shit to get ghosted three months after his daughter's wedding. 
Another royal expert also expresses the opinion that Meghan Markle had help writing private letter to dad from the palace aides. Meghan Markle is suing the Mail on Sunday for publishing parts of her letter to her estranged father, Thomas Markle Sr. And the newspaper's lawyers claim that she involved Kensington Palace's media team to help her write a draft. Meghan Markle allegedly had help from Kensington Palace aides to write the letter to her estranged dad that is now at the center of the lawsuit against the publisher. Lawyers for the publisher Associated Newspapers have now claimed to the high court that Palace aides helped Meghan write the letter sent to Mr. Markle after he was unable to attend the May 2018 royal wedding. The lawyers claim the Duchess's letter was, quote, part of a media strategy to improve and enhance her image and or releasing that it was likely to be disclosed to the public. The former Suits actress Meghan accused her father of breaking her heart into a million pieces by giving interviews to the press when she wrote him in August 2018. Parts of the letter were published in the Mail on Sunday and Mail Online in February 2019, sparking the legal row. Meghan's particulars of claim were filed at the High Court in October 2019, alleging that it was private and confidential and detailed her intimate thoughts and feelings about her father's health and her relationship with him. It has emerged that she recently amended the claim to reword a sentence, alleging she wrote the letter to now say that she created it using her own intellectual creativity. She is suing for alleged misuse of private information, copyright infringement, and breach of the Data Protection Act. Associated Newspapers wholly denies the claims, particularly the Duchess's claim that the letter was edited in any way to change its meaning, and maintains Meghan wrote the letter knowing it was likely to be made public. It filed court documents released this week alleging that Meghan involved the palace's media team, including then-communications secretary Jason Knopf, to help her write a draft of the five-page letter, which she copied before sending to her dad. The documents claim Jason Knopf and or the Kensington Palace communication team contributed to a draft of the palace document. The lawyers claim the Duchess's letter is not her intellectual creation and therefore not original work, as it was copied from an electronic draft, had the input of the communications team and contained pre-existing facts, including Meghan's view of her father and his conduct, and so was not subject to copyright protection. Associated Newspapers' legal team said in its document, quote, it is the, for the claimant to prove she was the only person who contributed to the writing of the electronic draft. Without prejudice to the generality of the foregoing, the defendant infers that Jason Knopf and or others in the Kensington Palace communications team contributed to the writing of the electronic draft. Megan must prove the letter compromises her own intellectual crea creation and therefore the extent, if any, to which it is original literary work, the documents add. At the time, Mr. Knopf was the Duke of Sussex's communications secretary and, after holding the same post with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, is now chief executive of William and Kate's Royal Foundation. Associated Newspapers claims Mr. Markle asked for the letter to be published to set the record straight after Meghan's friends anonymously revealed its existence and mischaracterized it as a loving letter in an interview with People magazine. The Duchess's legal team has claimed to the High Court that she produced an early draft on her iPhone Notes app before writing out the final version by hand. They said, quote, The Duchess created the letter over a period of several weeks in August 2018 on her Notes application on her iPhone. They say she copied the draft by hand, making a number of minor modifications so as to create the letter. This week, Megan faces a deadline to respond to the claim she cooperated with the authors of the book Finding Freedom. The Duchess, now living in Los Angeles with her husband, Prince Harry, and one-year-old baby Archie, has been ordered to reveal any involvement with the authors. The trial was due to begin on January 11th, but Megan has won a nine-month delay after asking for a postponement for confidential reasons. The court will hear a summary judgment application in January when Meghan's lawyers will argue that Associated Newspapers' defense has no prospect of succeeding at a trial. How about you? What do you think of Meghan Markle's lawsuit? 
Please let us know in the comment section below and discuss them further. And as always, come back to our channel for all the latest news on the royal family, Meghan and Harry right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.